All right. Well, we're now live. You guys can come, ask some questions. I'll be more than happy to answer them. First ever stream. Let's let's go. Hey, I'm doing great. How are you? I've been having quite the interesting uh, time here all by myself. It's been basically me and the two dogs every day. But it's been fun. You know what? Let's get some uh, let's get some music going. We need some music. Maybe some background music. We don't want too many commercials, though. <sighs> Fork knife. Yeah, my dogs are great. You know, I have Fork knife on my uh, Xbox, but I never play it. I've been playing Star Wars Jedi Fallen or Order. So, Wither Hunter 45, are you one of my students or are you just along for the fun? Ooh, Sea of Thieves is a pretty fun fun game. I don't have it yet, but I plan to. Well, then who are you then? Let's see, Sea of Thieves, fifth period. You're Lucas. Yeah, I said you're you're Lucas, you punk. How much chess have you played during break so far? That's what I want to know. By the way, can can you guys see my screen when I go to other other screens? Let me know. Like right now, can you see something? Can you see my email? Ah, rip. Well, I'm going to real quick. Let's send an email to Mr. Culver. Stream live stream is up. Let's... Uh, Uh, I wouldn't say that. Mr. Fleming is the best. I also love working with Mrs. Setterholm and Mr. Lynn. I need a link to this chat. Okay, let's go to my channel. My channel. Let's copy. Send that to Mr. Culver. I am the bestie. Best looking. So what have you guys been doing recently? Ooh, Apex is a fun game. I used to play a lot of Apex. I haven't recently, though. So, does, does anyone have any questions about the e-learning assignment so far? You're, gonna, you're about to get a lot more directions about it tomorrow. Right after this, I'm going to end up being uh, recording more directions for tomorrow's video. But if, you got, if there's anything that you guys want to know, let me ask me. If there's anything you guys want to talk about... Like any anything cool you guys have done so far, or you came for the stream. So besides the of C's fork knight chess, what else have you guys done? Is it yeah, what other way is there to share info with a partner if you have one? Well, you can use Gmail. Um Google Hangouts is also a great way. Like I could, yeah, there's nothing bad at here. 
I can with Google Hangouts just easily send my wife a hey, I love you. It works. That's skip song. <laughs> there is beside if if you have the person's phone number, you could just text them, but I like Google Classroom. Um, sorry, not not Google Classroom. Um, Google Hangouts and G Gmail is how I do most of my communication with my partners. I will say I've probably drank an unhealthy amount of uh, coffee during the past couple of couple days we have people from grace college staying with us because they have nowhere to go they're both from way 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 out of state so they have nowhere to go so when grace college closed me and my wife opened up our homes to them and they drink coffee too so each morning i've been making coffee for the, for them but they sleep in a lot so i end up drinking the whole pot of coffee myself but So if there is one thing, one thing that you guys would like to learn in genetics after this or during this project, what would it be? All right, the middle's getting a little old. Do a, oh, do a kickflip. I can't do a kickflip, not anymore. I've gotten old. Sawyer, where you at, buddy? There you are. Give me one moment, guys. Sawyer. How is color blindness made? Well, color blindness is on the X chromosome, and it is a recessive trait. So that means um, both people or both X chromosomes in someone's DNA would have to have it in order for them to get it. Well, males, you know, like me, I have only one X chromosome because I have an X chromosome and a Y chromosome. So that means if just one of my X chromosomes have it, and I only have one, then I'm going to get color blind blindness, which is why it's way more likely for guys to get color blindness than girls. So, do we need to? You're fine. Stop. They're here to see you, Sawyer. Look at the camera, Sawyer. Look. Look, look at the camera. Look at the camera. So, Logan, how does... Uh, how do chromosomes relate to CF? As in cystic fibrosis? As in what chromosome is cystic fibrosis lo lo located on? Uh, Logan, I'll answer your question just a bit. I'm going to have to do some research because I don't know offhand which chromosome cystic fibrosis is on. Emma, to answer your question, you do not need to submit the research yet. See, right now we've started collecting some of our data so that on Friday, tomorrow, we can start using some of that research to answer some specific questions about our genetic disorders. One of them is going to be what chromosome um, our genetic disorders located on. So we're going to do some research right now. We're going to help Logan figure out where uh, cystic fibrosis, what chromosome it's located on. So I'll need both hands. So I'll have to let Sawyer down. All right. So I'm going to go to my link, genetic disorders resources page. 
Um, I believe Mayo Clinic is what I used to figure out stuff on cystic fibrosis before. Cystic fibrosis. Leave me alone. Um, cystic fibrosis under causes gentle of the conductive regulator gene. Okay, so if, to answer your question there, Logan, I'm not going to do all of it for now, but if you, using a separate research, figure out where this gene is located, this conductive regulator gene for cystic fibrosis, if you figure out what chromosome it's located on, then you'll know which one causes cystic fibrosis, if that makes sense. All right. Uh, also, Mr. Wise, my dog is watching right now, and he thinks he likes my dog. Well, spoiler alert, Sawyer, the little dog that I just had, he did, he doesn't like other dogs. So while well, your dog might like him, he's probably not going to like your, your, your dog. Sorry. Ace, who's right down there right now, sniffing in my book bag, he likes other dogs. Mr. Wise, when I saw that choices were, I saw colorblindness, and I've actually been asking my family questions that I had to choose it. Yeah. Um, in your presentation that you'll be making later, it doesn't give you a bunch of extra points, but it helps some if you include family members that have, may have had this genetic disorder or just an example that you can give. And a family me member that have has uh, that genetic disorder before gives something extra for your readers to re relate to. So if you know anyone that's colorblind, th you should include, start asking them questions about it. So Logan, did what I say er earlier about cystic fibrosis make sense? Again, I used Mayo Clinic for that one. I like using Mayo Clinic. Yeah, dance monkeys, okay. Who is all here? Well, Sawyer's here and Ace is here. And some really buff guy is here. Skip ads. Do you guys have any other questions about your genetic disorder so far? Emma, did my answer before uh, help you out? Or do you still have a question about whether we submit it or not? You know, Ace, I think, would like to come on the stream, but he's a little shy. Ah, uh, do you want us to cite your research? Yes, you will need to end up at the end of the project, including a page where you're going to have to cite your research. Um, I would just keep a Google document list. Like I, I created a Google document list of sources. I would just create a separate Google document list for your the own sites that you end up using. Like if I Let's take Logan for an example. Logan, I just helped him out some find some stuff about cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis. So he would want to, if he's going to use this later, I probably want to keep, take note, copy this, create a new Google document, docs. Let's see, he went to Mayo Clinic. I would keep on doing so. Now, later on, I am going to be given directions on how to properly cite your sources. But for now, this is all you'll need to start keeping a list of each website that you use so that later you can go back, back in, actually cite your sources in your project, Hope that helps. All right. Ooh, I got a lot of stuff to, to catch on. When do we have to have the project done by? Okay. So it's going to be in different steps. 
this first step is due tonight. That's just choosing our genetic disorder and getting some research done. It's going to end up being due, let me remind myself of the different steps. It's going to be end up being due April 3rd. So that's our last week of, um, that's our last week of uh, spring break. No, sorry, not spring break. It's the last week of e-learning. It's that week before spring, spring break. That's when I'll start be accepting your final submissions. Now, there is going to be some time during spring break for you guys to catch up on. But I've left enough space between e-learning days, and you'll see each step as I post them. Um, you'll see each step as I post them that we're basically going through different checkpoints a little bit at a time. So you're going to have plenty of time to do stuff. Uh, let's see. Blake Keen, I don't know you. Are you from a different school? Um, I'm not, if I'm going to speculate, I have not heard anything. Um, I oh mean, I dropped my pen right now. My speculation, and this is just pure me spitballing here. I don't think we're going to come back to school. Now then, nothing's official, but I do think we're going to have e, 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 e learning e in that time. Let me explain. So the governor, Hulk. Holcomb has given us 20 days to use. And um, each of these weeks, because of the e-learning e days on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're only using a Tuesday and Thursday of those 20 days. So each week, we're only using two of those 20 days. So that could stretch into May if we need to use it in April, May. We'll see. Right now, we're coming back April 13th. It is April 13th, right? Let me check. Yep. Right now, we're coming back April 13th. I have all my le lessons ready to go during that time. Do we? Do I think we're going to be back then? I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Right now, yes. If the trend of how many people are affected in Indiana by the coronavirus rises, then there might be more. skip uh let me catch up on some questions here mason and blake i still don't know who you guys are ah i see blake has set her home mason who do you have all right dylan asked do we need to submit the research tonight no you do not um, but here I'll, I'll opt in this. I'll, I'll offer up this for you. If you want to submit your research tonight, I'll go through and check your sources to let you know if they're good or not. Like if you have a question on whether or not you're using the right sources, I can check those for you. You're going to end up needing this research to answer our specific questions tomorrow. Tomorrow's e-learning, e e I'm going to give you 13 questions to kind of guide what presentations you're going to end up building. So you will need those resources then. Dylan, does that answer your question? And again, just to clarify, guys, all my comments about um, earlier about us being here at school or not, that's just purely speculation. Okay. We haven't seen the coronavirus slowing down yet. So I have heard. Now, I forget where I saw this, so take this with a grain of salt. But I've heard that they've already started testing the coronavirus vaccine. So if that ends up going into production soon with positive tests, we could back, be back to school sooner than we thought. Will I play duos with you on Fortnite? Eesh, I'm not the person that you want to be playing duos with. I heard that Mr. Ringler is a pretty good duos partner. Um, I'm not good at Fortnite. Mason's in seventh grade. Well, 
I look forward to possibly having you in class next year, Mason. Keep it real. Well, I'll be honest, I was not expecting this many people to be here for the live stream. I was expect, expecting no one to show up. So the fact that people show, showed up makes me feel pretty nice. I'll be honest with you guys. I, um, I, I, I really do miss being around you guys. I mean, I, I teach because I really, really like doing it. I may not seem like a very extroverted person. I may not seem like a very introverted person. I'm kind of a mix of both. So I've had it so much time by myself that that introvert side of me is full, but the extrovert, I've just been with my dogs. So it's it does make me ha happy to actually get a chance to play with you. Mr. Wise, want to play Apex or Sea of Thieves? Well, I don't have Apex anymore. And when I did, I had it on the computer. Um, and, I, and I don't have Sea of Thieves. Looks like we've got some duo partners being formed already. The game that I've been spending time playing recently is called League of Legends. Um, there's a sub game in League of Legends called Team Fight Tactics that just got an update yesterday called the Galaxy Update. So I've been playing a lot of that. Does anyone in chat still have any questions? I'm going to do my best to answer them. I'm having a great morning. Thank, thank you for asking. Yeah, he's cracked. What do you mean? Anyways, my morning's great. Ace is doing good. Ace Ace wants to come on, on the stream, but he's a little shy. So let's get a come on, Ace, be brave in the chat. If we get enough, come on, Ace, be brave in the chat, Ace might come on stream. No one wants Ace to come on straight stream? No, come on, Ace, be brave. Sorry, Ace. Oh, we got one. We need a few more. I don't know. He still looks a little scared. We need more. Come on, Ace. Be brave in the chat. He is right now. He's chewing his paw. You see, they have recently started closing down uh, different barber shops and pet grooming places. So um, I haven't had a chance to take Ace to get his nails trimmed in a while. So he's biting his nails right now. My sweetest friend. All right, Ace. Ace for president. Come here, buddy. Come here, Ace. Come on up here. Yeah. See, he's a little shaky right now because he's just a generally a scared boy. But he's good. Thank you. What do you want to see? All right. Is this an essay? Uh, no, this will not end up being an essay. It's actually going to end up being a Google Slides presentation. In fact, let me give you an example. Give me a moment here to pull it up. Pardon the noise in the background. My dogs are starting to. Uh... Oh man, I'm gonna. I'm gonna remember where I put this. It took me a while to get to the Google Slides presentation. Oh, your mom's grooming shop still open. Elizabeth, where does your mom work for the for the grooming shop? 
Because my boys, they need, they need some work done. And Ace would accept that that treat. He loves loves treats. He's the skinnier of the, of the two. Sawyer, he's uh he's gaining some weight. My beagle boy. Logan, that wasn't random. I was just talking about grooming my dogs. This music's too sad. Play some Viva La Vida. Now he's back to chewing his nails again. I guess that's he always he only had enough bravery to come on the screen for a little bit. So I'm gonna have to pull up my example for you later, Logan, once I find it. Okay, I did have one made the other day. I just don't want to search through all my Google Drive open on the stream, if that makes sense. Because I have confidential documents that you guys aren't supposed to see. Because inf inf information about you guys stays about you guys only, not with any uh, other students. So I can't share that. But yeah, it, it is going to end up being a Google Slides presentation, not an essay. Can you, can you guys actually hear the, the music? Countryside Pet Salon in Atwood. I haven't heard of Countryside Pet Salon. I'll, I'll, I'll have to check it out. Luckily, I have two hound dogs, the Blue Tick Coon Hound and the Beagle. Uh, they don't usually require much grooming because they have very short hair, but they do need their nails trimmed. Me and my wife used to trim their nails all the time, but Ace was, uh, we trimmed a little too close one time to, the um quicken of his nails so it kind of bled everywhere and ever, ever since we haven't i was able to learn about different ways to stop up uh quicken from bleeding a whole lot though different mix of cornstarch and all science wither hunter what's the no for i don't understand What other questions do you guys have? I got about seven more minutes that I'm going to live stream for. I'm going to end up live streaming like this every single Tuesday and Thursday from now on to give you guys, to, sorry, to, just to answer some some questions, to hang out. Oh, you can't hear any, any music? Maybe, maybe I'll turn it up a little bit. How about now? Yo, it's... Hey, Ron Pena, joining the chat. What's up, Aaron? All the way up. I should do a video game stream on Wednesday. If I were to stream a video game, what video game would you like it to be? I will say, can't stream Fortnite because it's on the Xbox and I only stream on computer. Aaron Pena claims that he is my favorite student. Uh, that is not true, because I hate all you students equally. Undertale. Now, I have not played Undertale in a while. One of my favorite games of all time is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. It came out around the year most of you were born. I was thinking about streaming that just for fun. Um, I do have Minecraft. I have not played Minecraft in a while. The last thing I did on Minecraft was build a one-to-one -one scale model of the Roman Colosseum. That ended up being a lot of time. So ever since then, I kind of like burned out of mine Minecraft. I haven't played it much since. Star Wars, if the worst mo movie, good one, Aaron, is... There are some, there are some Star Wars movies that aren't great. I'll admit that. You know, Star Wars is not my favorite movie.
Jonas Brothers. Oh, Jonas Blue? No, thank you. Let's listen to this Duel of the Fates. Nah, I want to listen to some NNF. I like NF. Disney ruined Star Wars. Well, Disney, I wouldn't say ruined it. Disney owns it now, so Disney is Star Wars. Anyways, what is my favorite mov movie? I really, really like the movie Gladiator. Now, Gladiator is not a movie you guys should watch. It's a little too violent for you. Okay, but when you get old enough, you should. Russell Crowe, his act acting in it is phenomenal. Another one of my favorite movies is a movie called Interstellar. Now, that one's a science movie. It's, it's a physics mo mo movie explaining the fourth and fifth dimensions that the that are all pulled together by gravity. It's a really cool space exploration movie, but uh, it's one of those movies that uh, it's going to mess with your mind. So I wonder why you guys can't hear any of my music. Let me turn it up a little bit. Have you seen the movie The Theory of Everything? I have not, but it is one of the movies that's on my list to watch soon. Because Theory of Everything, um, that's the one about um, Stephen Hawking, right? So are there any other questions you guys have about the assignment so far? I know our assignment is pretty small right now, but I am more than happy to answer any, any questions. It's, it's, it's about to get bigger. Like We're about to get a lot more tomorrow. I'm going to give you guys 13 specific questions to start to answer about the genetic d disorders that you chose. Will it be in a Google Doc? As in what? The final the final piece that you turn in? To answer your question, Josh, the uh, we're going to end up turning our final pro project in as a Google Slides. So similar to a Google Doc, but broken up into smaller sections. Let me know if you guys have any final questions. I'm going to have to go here pretty soon. I've got to let my dogs out. I have to start making lunch. I might be back on later, or maybe for just a for fun stream instead of uh, answering questions and talking stream. Will I do a giveaway at 50 subscribers? What 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 would you want me to give away? I mean, I got some things around me. I got this... Uh, I got this uh, little bean bag thing that you heat up in the microwave, put it on, on, on your neck. It's all warm. Got this roll of toilet, not uh, sorry, of uh, paper towels. Uh, I got this dark side strudel Star Wars candle. <laughs> Give away an A plus at 50 subscribers. Yeesh. Uh, probably no go on the, on that one. I got this uh, Boba Fett mug that I keep some pens in. Maybe at 50 subscribers, I'll do a uh, Mr. Wise house tour because my house is pretty, pretty, pretty cool. I have I've tricked up my my basement here to be super cool and Star Wars -y, and it's not even done yet. Ignore the vacuum cleaner that's over there. I just cleaned the other day. Well, welcome Jane to the stream. Hope you've had a good good break so far. Hope you got your e learning done for all your classes. Spe speaking of, before I head out here, do you guys have any e-learning for your other classes that, that you're stuck with and you need help? 
because I can answer some questions on those, or at least I'll do my best. Try to think of some other things I can give away besides an A plus or a house tour. I got some really cool books and comics. Tell Mr. Ringler he needs easier work. Well, your guys' Jackson essay is something that you talked about in class before all this. And um so doing the Jackson essay bit by bit should be something that's pretty easy to do. And I'm sure if you reached out to Mr. Ring Ringler, he'd help 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 you. A dog visit, like to that to a class when we actually go back to school. Yes, class, if, if, if we're back. Okay, at, at 50 subscribers then, we'll do something regarding the dogs when we get back to class. Or I might do a around-the-house tour. Or maybe at 50 subs subscribers, we'll do a uh, gaming stream where I might even play Fork Knife with you guys. That means I have to get it on my computer. I don't, I don't play on my computer much. Anyways... I gotta go. I'm gonna go make some lunch. I'm gonna go let the dogs out. I'm gonna go talk with my wife when she gets home for lunch. Guys, have a great time. I'll see you guys again on Tuesday for a live stream just like this. I might live stream later this week and weekend some games just for fun. Let me know. Have a great day. Please, if you guys end up having any questions uh, about the project tomorrow when I upload the next lesson or maybe even later tonight, just Please e email me, let me know. I'll try to respond right away. Peace. Have a great time.